Good morning, honey. Good morning. What are you doing? I, I forgot to cut this one branch. This one right here? Yeah. It needs to be cut? Yeah. You know, I need someone to pull on it. <laughs> Not by myself. So. <laughs> that's that's pretty, make it that's a pretty ingenious right there, babe. Huh? That's pretty ingenious right there. So, why are you cutting this branch? What are you working on? Goat house. Goat house, why? Why are we building a goat house? <laughs> Are we getting goats? Yeah, we're getting goats. How many? Five. Don't tell them! <laughs> it's a surprise! I forgot, I forgot I was surprising them. <laughs> four, right? We're getting four goats. <laughs> Alright, well, we might be getting five goats. Yeah. So, everyone not surprised. You might want to move. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> good morning, little Frank. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. I always want to say good morning to you guys, but I forget. It might not be morning time when you're watching this. Um, it is Wednesday morning and things are just getting started on the farm this morning. It is a pretty busy day. We have three major projects going on. Um, one of which is, yes, the goat house that Susser is building. We have five baby goats coming. Um, it went from three to four to five. Um, yeah, we've gotten a little goat crazy, but we're so excited to welcome these babies home in just a few short days. So we gotta get this house up. Um, I am planting in my protege garden today. I spent all day yesterday prepping it and I'm so excited to show you guys what all has been done. And then we have an unfortunate situation. Our kitchen sink is backing up. Um, it's not draining. It's been happening the last couple days and it like you literally can't live life like that. Um, no idea what's happening over there. But um, it's impossible to wash dishes and it's just driving me insane. So <clears throat> I'm, I'm actually going to be working on that, surprisingly enough. Um, I'm going to go when it heats up a little bit this afternoon and it's too hot to be like actively working in the garden. I'm going to go to Lowe's and pick up some stuff that um, Susser needs um, and I'm going to try to do it myself or snake it and see what happens and then... If that doesn't work, Susser can take over <laughs> and figure it out. But it's, you know, just how things go around here. You just roll with the punches and figure it out. Are these girls still? <laughs> They're being so sweet with each other this morning. Um, but we're going to bring you along with us through the day. And um, we're actually be working today. <laughs> And um, we do have my sweet spirit mama here visiting Andy, so I'm sure you'll see her at some point. But um, I gotta get going. I actually have to clean up last night's dishes, which I'm not looking forward to. And then I'm gonna get um, compost down and start planting. guys it is so hot outside holy moly so I just came in I'm at a stopping point and then I need more compost so we have run through everything we have and I still have a bed to fill and a garden box to fill so Andy and I are gonna run to Lowe's we're gonna pick up the snake for the sink you don't even want to see how gross it is. And we're going to get compost and dirt 
and a few other things. Um, but first I'm gonna prep lunch for the boys so they have food while I'm gone because it's about lunchtime for them. And I think I might eat something too, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut up a pineapple. We had chicken wings last night, so I'm gonna reheat some of those. And I made a cabbage salad yesterday. So I'll throw some of that in there. And um, then we'll get on the road to Lowe's. It's about a 30 minute drive. So that'll take us a few hours to get there and back and get all the stuff we need. But um, yeah, no joke. I shoveled compost and wheelbarrowed it for an hour. And um, that's quite a workout, like quite a workout. This pineapple's not looking too good. It's looking a little old. So we'll see what I can salvage from it. Hey guys, so we just got back from Lowe's where we had a, Way too much fun <laughs> walking around those. And do you want to come say hi? Oh. Introduce yourself. Okay. Thought y'all would want to meet my sweet Andy. Hi. <laughs> you having fun? Hey everyone. I'm having the best time ever. <laughs> it is so wonderful to be here. Yeah. To be with you. Yeah. This is this is incredibly special. Yeah. And we're getting so much done. Yes. Yes, I mean, we are. So many plants. I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. We're going to get seeds and herbs in the ground here in the next few hours mm -hmm. and finish off these uh, gardens over here in the protege garden. And I'll show you what all we get done here in a little bit. But I just wanted y'all to meet my sweet Andy. Nice to meet everyone. And we transformed this whole place. Yeah. So yeah. you'll get to see all of it soon, I'm sure. Yeah. And the boys have been busy, busy working. The goat house is coming along so well. I'm so excited. It, it's looking so good. So I'll show all, I'll show you everything here in a little bit. See okay. you soon. Bye. You want to show everyone? <laughs> you want to show off, huh? I thought we'd show everyone the protege garden you're trying to go potty in. What do you think? Yeah. All right. All right, guys. <sighs> well, we built a little French drain to help with the water as it comes out of this gutter. We got a beautiful Miss Daisy from Andy she brought. We've got some nasturtiums to grow low here and here. Then we've got, let's see, so I'm going to show you from behind. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> okay, we've got marigolds all along here. We have two indigo cherry drop tomatoes. I'll put a cage on. In the back, we have valerian. They grow really tall, almost five feet. So we'll be able to see them from the window inside the house, which will be awesome. The African blue basil is still here. I left a lot of this open for all the basil babies that are just growing right now still. In the back, I have seeds of Cosmos and Zinnias. And then here I have Spilanthes, Toothache Crests. I have my chives, chives, chives. This beautiful milk weed that's been growing here for a while. It was gifted to us by our friend Erica, a dog herbalist who's amazing. I will drop her um, handle in the bottom for her social media. If you have dogs that are needing any herbal support, she's fantastic. And then more valerian. So it'll get really tall back here and then progressively smaller. I just, you see my border I built? We're kind of holding off on this whole section for now. We talk about maybe putting pumpkins in here, but we're not sure yet. So nothing's happening there. I moved these over from the other side. I've got tomato, 
a headless cabbage. Look at this yarrow is going crazy. The kale is really sad right now. It needs some water. I'm about to water everything. And this isn't living here. It's just hanging out here right now, this lemongrass. I need to get it in the ground. And then here's our other bed. This little rock keeps falling off. So, um, again, the back, that whole area that you can see with the rake lines is zinnias and cosmos. They're cutting flowers. They get really tall, so I believe we'll be able to see them from our bedroom window, which is this window. Oh, hey. And then in here, I have asters. Asters, 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 calendula, 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 and I have just a couple little marigolds, all a variety of different colors. So these should just go big and tall and gorgeous. And um, yeah, I'm so impressed and with how everything's coming together. I mean, it's, I still have dirt here, I still have dirt here. Hopefully that'll grow back in. I also have a toilet there we bought today <laughs> at Lowe's, but um, I am, I'm, I'm really happy, you guys, with the way this is all coming together. It's going to look so good as it, oh, see, I painted my door, and uh, it's going to look so good as it all grows in, and this is the side of the house that you see when you drive up, so I just can't wait for all these beautiful flowers to be growing in. Hey, Quinn. What are you doing? What's daddy been up to today, huh? Look at all that beautiful wood that's going to be the walls of this goat house. Honey, you want to catch us up on what you've been doing all day? Okay, well. Build the goat house. <laughs> He's like, there it is. Yeah, 16 by 20. What's a little, it's like 16, 4 inches by 20. You're going to have a door here. For easy access for us so we don't have to go in the pen have a door on the side <clears throat> with the amount of square footage here we could house up to like 16 goats so we'll, we won't have any of that eventually down the road i plan on putting um probably three or four birthing stalls along the back wall and yeah that's pretty much what's going on here so where are you so this is like all your like, tell us a little bit about what all the posts are, and then what's the next step. Okay, well, um, I got three sides on the perimeter, the roof perimeter. I got to put the other one on, and I've got a, uh, a beam running down the center. And then... That's for gonna, support? Yeah, for support. And then you want to show the wood there. So you can see the side there, side on the back, and then what's this wood? That's going to be like the trusses. So then we could lay the, the metal roofing on. Okay. And then, and then we start to put this. Yeah, this, this is right so here. cool. We got this from a local sawmill for free, right, babe? Yeah, it's free. Yeah. They're usually, yeah, they. And that's very common. So if there's a sawmill in your area, right? Yeah. It's pretty common. Yeah, for sure. And there's, I mean, there's some pretty good pieces of wood in here that I got that aren't even for that, or aren't even for this project. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's free because when they get too much, they just burn it because they ha they don't have any use for it. You yeah. Know? So. And it's so pretty. It's gonna look like this natural. Yeah, there's like tree trunks, but it's gonna be a house. Yeah, there's pine, there's cypress. I found some uh, some hickory in there, so it's kind of neat having all the different kinds in this. So it'll be fun putting it, putting the walls together, kind of like a puzzle piece. But another good thing, since they're like different shapes. Um, It'll leave gaps, so you get ventilation going through there. Um, you know, so it'll be good. It'll be good. Awesome. And then once this is done, I got to put a gate on the side, and then that roof that's in the trees. That was a project that I started months and months ago that just never turned into anything. So that's going to be the covering for the hay. So I'll have to put that in, but that'll just be like four posts, put it up. It'll be easy peasy, you know? Awesome. I'm trying to get it all done by Friday or Saturday, Friday, Saturday. 
We want to get the babies here. Yeah, I want to get the babies here. Before Andy leaves. Everyone got to meet Andy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We actually did work on this <laughs> on this Wednesday, unlike last Wednesday. I'm also holding my phone, so it's a weird angle. Yeah. But, um, I almost feel like they're looking at the over our heads. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are. I don't know. <laughs> Um, but we will see you guys next week. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out at Luna Nueva Farms. See you. Bye.